three, infiltration. Carla approached her jet, waving goodbye to the Chancellor and her boss. Her body was shaking with excitement and nerve. She had no idea how she would survive against a company that sincerely overpowered them. All she needed to do was take a keycard and free everyone from the prisons. It sounded easy, but it was incredibly hard. First of all, how would she get past the force field? Secondly, how would she fight all of the agents? And thirdly, she had to somehow pickpocket one of the heavily armoured guards. It would be impossible. Sadly for Collar, this only occurred to her as she reached the force field. Swiftly, she landed her jet and ran up into a wide oak tree, staring down menacingly at the guards, unseen. Suddenly, in the blink of an eye, she hurled herself at one of the guards, tasing him in the back as she did so. The other guard ripped a gun off his belt and shot straight towards Collar. She quickly backflipped off the guard's body onto the floor and charged towards him. Unfortunately, he was too fast and shot Collar straight in the heart with a stun wave. She immediately span uncontrollably and eventually fell on the ground with a thud, her eyes shut. When she woke up, she felt a cold, damp floor beneath her. It felt like rock and mud. All she could hear was a ring in her ear, slowly draining away. Opening her eyes and looking around, she saw three rocky walls covered in drips of water. The most horrifying sight was the skull of a human lying creepily in the corner. The second she saw the last wall, she realized something terrible. She was in a prison cell. Questions started to flow. How do I escape? Will I end up like the skull? Eventually the question stopped and she took some deep breaths. Then she remembered something. Her comm system. Hurriedly she shuffled around and called for help through the speaker, but it was smashed to pieces. The guards must have suspected I'd do as she thought to herself. Suddenly heavy footsteps started to echo down the extensive corridor and a looming shadow slowly crept over the cell. A deep voice began to speak. You are a prisoner of the Tolata Society. Your execution will proceed in two days. Collar's, of I Collar's ideas of escaping all shattered. It would take anyone a week to get there, no matter how fast the jet was. She would need to do it herself, or have a trusted friend in the base. And then she realised what she had just said. She did have a trusted friend in the base. An old friend, but a good one. He used to be a pilot. Motaka until his incident. He was flying through the skies, blowing up every Tolata ship in tight. He was doing well, extremely well, until suddenly his engine was locked onto by a Tolata turret, and his fight went askew as the plasma ball smashed into his engine. His ship spun rapidly towards the ground, growing faster and faster until he hit the ground and smashed his jet. He went into Tolata base as a mole, and no one ever saw him again. He goes by the name of Jack Falcon.